what an incredible story, right? And then now here we are, the nomination for the first Secretary of the Army. Yes, I knew to be that. A female, right? And it, it's getting away from like, you know, like you said, when I went through your bio, it was like the first, the first, but I was very mindful not to say the first female because it, at the end of the day, like a leader is a leader, right? Yeah. It doesn't matter who you are and whatever foxhole you end up in, you want to make the per- want to make sure the person to the left and right of you is willing and committed to the same mission that you're on. Yep. Yeah, for sure. And it's, it's tough walking this little balance of, okay, I want to be treated as an equal. Um, right. I don't want any special treatment. And then at the same time, where do I find opportunities to reach out to women the same way, you know, major sours at the time reached out to me um, and like, let me know that, Hey, you, you may be thinking that this isn't appropriate, but you are absolutely like a good person to go to go pursue this path. Cause I think there's still a lot of that um, self-doubt and self-limitation out there. So yeah. I try to, and it's kind of a fine balance of all. Cause I also don't want to exclude anybody. I treat my male and female subordinates um, and soldiers, I mean the same. Right. So 